right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to jump right into it. This is us building the front of this concrete retaining wall. Now, I did make a couple of videos of us installing the rebar, which is a double mat, number four, number five, 12 inches on center. And I also have a, a video out of us building the back of the concrete retaining wall. I'll leave those links down below or somewhere up in this right or left hand corner for you guys to check out. But this is the process of building a concrete retaining wall the right way. You wanna make sure you have the right people out there building, especially if it's something over nine feet. It does look easy and we also make it look easy, but there's a lot of nuance throughout building this uh, retain well especially this high now i do have another video coming up of us installing the rebar for the footing which was about seven feet wide 24 inches thick number seven and number five double mat rebar uh cage for that so be on the lookout for that i should have that up within next couple of days i'm trying to make 20 videos in 20 days i think this is the third day so you might see two or three videos come out one day so that's going to count as a day but I'm just kind of making them as i see this is all old content probably from about two two and a half years ago but i had that much content on showing the process of doing these concrete retaining walls the right way i do get a lot of questions so these videos are up there now if you need more information and you need some more consulting you can hit me up directly and then we can talk about the process of building it that's ideally for clients outside of San Francisco Bay Area, Sacramento area. But if you're in the San Francisco, Sacramento area and you want a retaining wall built correctly, you can give us a call. All our information is down below. It's cool to ask for help. Hang around people that's positive. Wake up with good intentions. Everything is going to be all right. Last but not most importantly, don't let your pride and ego get in the way for asking for help.